this video is uh, part 6 of main engine decar so after completion of uh, piston ring fit up now we can uh, in ready to install the piston in place so for that first you need to fit the piston inserting tool so this tool has to go in the groove of piston cleaning ring that means you cannot uh, fit the piston cleaning ring before installation of piston so this uh, tool is very heavy so you have to use a crane to lift and fit it in place and uh, this tool must be handled very carefully because uh, sometimes this tool damages the liner area so it should be dropped and it should be in kept in place very slowly once uh, the tool is in place then you have to remove the wire sling de shackle and get ready for the piston to lift up while uh, we are doing this job in the meantime the crane can go and start doing the lifting of the piston which is ready to fit in liner so now here after fitting the tool you have to lubricate the cylinder liner with lube oil you have to apply enough amount of oil so that uh, when we are uh, inserting the piston in liner it should be lubricated properly and uh, the piston go inside very smooth so this lube oil plays a major role and uh, don't uh, be so stingy in using the lube oil use ample amount of oil so that the entire cylinder liner is covered on the other side people were uh, using the crane fitted the fitted uh, lifting tool of piston and carefully fit the piston tool lifting tool that has been told earlier how to fit it and uh, slowly lift from the stand main thing that you need, need to notice is when you are lifting up there are chances for the stuffing box to get stuck in way of the floor plate so that area you have to be very careful when the stuffing box is coming up just move the piston tool so that it will be giving way for the piston to come up so once the piston is out what you can do is you can start preparing the stuffing box so stuffing box in the sense it's already overall that's why i couldn't able to give a video on a stuffing box overall video but definitely i will uh, post a video on a stuffing box overalling so this is the stuffing box and uh, preparation is very simple same like uh, you have to blow air on the piston means uh, on the o-ring groove and ensure no dirty particles no carbon particles or in the way of stuffing box so uh, our crew member is uh, applying uh, air control air and uh, remove all the dirts carbon deposits and these deposits uh, must have been uh, um, over it because uh, sometimes during cleaning of piston those deposits get those carbon get deposited in way of groove so after uh, cleaning the groove area next thing is we have to fit the o-ring this ring this uh, stuffing box have two o-rings and uh, for fitting up the o-ring you have to use proper proper o-ring this is the grease white grease which we are using for applying on the o-ring and this is for the top o-ring once the top o-ring is fitted just again uh, ensure that o-ring is not twisted that is the main thing that you need to keep it in mind when you are fitting the o-ring if the o-ring get uh, twisted then there are chances for 
o-ring to get cut so now this is the second o-ring we are fitting so this o-ring is also fitted again uh, give you a good coat of greasing once the uh, greasing is done actually this greasing uh, enables the stuffing box o-ring uh, not to get damaged and it sits in place without any difficulties so now uh, the job is done next we are taking the piston towards the cylinder liner always ensure one person is operating the crane and when moving when operating the crane be careful with the area with the other crew member who is uh, standing there and uh, two ways you can take the piston inside the liner that is either you can take the piston straight up and uh, lower it or else you can get the piston in between two bolt and you can straight away lower it inside the liner only difficulty that uh, you will face when uh, crossing between two bolt is you should not hit the bolt if you hit it may damage the thread that is one thing that you need to know so before uh, uh, lowering the piston you have to check the piston foot area is free of uh, uh, dirt and the cover is removed and there is no rags nothing present over it so when you are lowering this piston should go between the slots below the liner area so that the piston rod enters and sit over the foot properly so here uh, one thing that you need to notice is one person should be near the scavenge area and uh, the other person should be down the crankcase area i couldn't be able to take that video but uh, these are the two things that uh, people need to be there with the walkie talkie so that uh, the guy who is operating lowering the piston can get the signal from the other two people so when lowering if the slot is not matching then the guy who is down in the scavenge space area can turn the piston and match the slot so that the piston rod goes inside without any trouble now we are lowering the piston always lower very slow keep the crane straight and do not shake if you are shaking the piston then the stuffing box can hit the liner surface and cause damage so lower the piston down and then you can apply coat of lube oil and arrange the piston ring cut face so again here also apply ample amount of lube oil so that uh, the lube oil helps for the piston ring to pass through the liner top face easily and for us also it will be very comfortable so you can see our third engineer is uh, applying lube oil for all the rings now we are lowering the piston so here is where you have to be very careful because if the piston ring is not going just give a push with the help of screwdriver then the piston ring will go inside the liner so now uh, the guys who are in the crankcase side is turning the piston so that the piston rod slot can go inside the groove and the slot slot matches the groove that is what they are doing down so always uh, three people will be having the walkie talkie i'm having the walkie talkie in hand i am and i'm the one who is uh, operating the piston and now we are lowering it so keep the piston straight piston should be always straight and i am communicating with the guys who is down so that as per their uh, indication i am lowering the piston ring means the piston <coughs> so now we got a problem that the piston lowering tool is getting uh, obstruction with the piston lifting tool so we have to 
little bit turn the piston lowering tool the um, others other side so that uh, the piston lifting tool don't get stuck in way of the piston so all we need to do is uh, bit hammering will help but as I said this tool is very very heavy this tool is very heavy that uh, we have to give little bit more force to make the tool move so we are doing that okay so just a little turn so that it don't obstruct the way of the piston from going down okay so that's all the piston is lowered and uh, once you get confirmed with the team which is in the crankcase side that they had put a bolt one bolt or two bolt down and the piston foot is in place then you can remove the piston lifting tool and main thing is you have to secure it on top of it and it has to be properly tightened because this tool is very heavy if it fall down it may cause injury so it is very very necessary that the tool which you are using to lift and the guide has to be secured in place properly and safely so while lifting this you can use you can connect both uh, lifting tool and uh, piston uh, landing tool also both the tool can be lifted together with the help of engine room crane so okay now we are lifting the tool piston is in place and next thing that we need to do is we have to tighten the piston rod piston rod with the help of hydraulic jack and uh, in the meantime we have to do two things like we have to get ready with the cylinder cover and uh, one team will be working inside the crankcase and one team will be working outside one team will tighten the stuffing box flange and tighten the piston rod nut the other team will be working with installation of cylinder cover so okay we are done with uh, inserting the piston inside liner next we will go inside the crankcase area so you can see the crankcase area our third engineer and fitter is working inside it and again as i said earlier you have to screw the inner most bolt last time also we opened the inner mode the same we have to put it back and apart from this apart from this screw i forgot to tell in our last video when removing the piston we have to remove the lube oil connection which connects the telescopic pipe that is one thing i missed out now you can see the telescopic pipe is already kept opened and that pipe should be fitted back you can see a pipe pipe on top of the scavenge means uh, stuffing box flange and that is the lube oil pipe which connects to the telescopic pipe so that one we have to fit it and all these nut means all this uh, screw should be tightened with the help of wire so to ensure the screw is kept in place so we are tightening it we get almost eight screws for the stuffing box and uh, you can see the blue boil pipe is being it connected with the help of bolts again so this is the blue boil pipe which has to be connected um, then connected with the telescopic pipe and this should be disconnected before removing the piston which i uh, I didn't mention to say it okay so once we are done with the topmost connection we can lower the cross head you can lower the piston down and you can keep it on uh, BDC and comfortably you can fit the 
hydraulic nut and has to be tightened with the help of hydraulic jack so that is what uh, we are doing now again this has to be tightened diagonally we will be having most of the ships uh, we have only uh, two jacks and these two jacks has to be used two times like uh, one pair one time so we got two pair two pair of uh, nuts so we have to tighten with the required pressure which is indicated in our manual so as i said uh, earlier this tightening procedure and opening procedure had been given in lot many videos but anyway i will post a separate video of how to do the tightening and removing of hydraulic nuts uh, separately so okay we are uh, done with the uh, installation means uh, tightening of the piston rod nut so main thing that uh, we need to keep it in mind when working inside the crankcase door is whichever tool you are carrying inside it has to be accounted and when you come out from the crankcase door the tool whichever uh, you are taken inside the crankcase area should be checked whether all those tools have been came out or not this is to avoid the tools getting stuck between moving part and that may creates hot spot which may lead to machinery damage which we don't need to happen so again uh, any racks should be taken out check for uh, visually check properly and uh, before closing the crankcase door inspection thorough inspection should be carried out inside the crankcase you have to enter inside the crankcase and check for anything any object any material any rags has been fallen down mistakenly kept mistakenly all those things should be checked it has to be checked for sure and then only you have to close the crankcase door so i think uh, after watching this video you must have got some idea about uh, how to fit piston in place after completion of uh, decab so our next video will be how to fit back the cylinder cover in place and what are all the checks that we need to do before installing the cylinder cover uh, i believe uh, this video must have given you some idea about uh, main engine decab work if you have any doubt please uh, put in comment box definitely i will reply you if you have any suggestions your suggestions are always welcome and always refer makers manual before doing any job keep supporting thank you all